I am here at Pike's Public Place Market. So let's go check this place out. Make sure to check out culturetrekking.com for all of the detailed guides in Seattle and the surrounding area. I'll link it down below. Pike's Place Market actually opened in 1907, so that means it's been operating for over 50 years. And it's a place for local artisans, crafts, and plenty of food and fish. So this is Beecher's Cheese, where you can actually see them making the cheese here. We're gonna go in and get some mac and cheese. Here with Amy, I actually met her in Clubhouse in the Traveler's Chill Lounge. So if you wanna come hang out <laughs> with us, check that out in Clubhouse. Amy here is a local. How long have you lived here? Three years. Three years, and Beecher's is one of her favorites. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The first Starbucks, the line to get into it is probably her least favorite. So <laughs> we're gonna opt for this one. Yeah. All right, so we found some quieter seating here in the market, and Amy here, she's just, she's sitting right here. <laughs> Quietly eating her mac and cheese. Apparently, a frozen one of these in the grocery store is more expensive than getting it fresh from the market here. Mm. Oh, my Dutch heritage is just singing. This is so good. Super creamy. The noodles aren't overdone or over soggy. Has a little bit of a bite to it at the very end. Definitely worth it. You're right, it is one of the best mac and cheeses I've had. For something a little bit healthier, there are plenty of locally sourced fresh fruits and veggies in the market as well. This is Kuroshki Kuroshki. Pretty sure it's a couple of brothers that opened this thing, but I'm not quite sure. And the first Starbucks. Started in 1912, this is where Starbucks all began. While the store inside doesn't exactly look any different than the other Starbucks stores, it's never without a line. For a truly unique Starbucks experience, head over to the Starbucks Reserve a few streets up. I've been to Seattle a few times now, and of course, I visited the gum wall, found fabulous street art with a photography tour, got to visit the underground of Pike's Place Market that is definitely a must. But now we're across the street, walking through some of the, some more of the artisan shops that are open. Some of them are kind of closing down. Make sure to check the hours of when these are open before you come so you can make good use of your time. Thanks, Amy, for uh, meeting me out here. <laughs> when in Seattle, you can also go over to the Great Ferris Wheel and take a little ride or wings over Seattle, visit the Space Needle, or head over to the Cholule Gardens. also go over to the Olympic Sculpture Park as well as the Pop Art Museum that I heard is quite fantastic. If you're looking for a good place for breakfast, come to Moki Nut. They have these donuts that are, you know, it's kind of like donut holes that are all hooked together and there's a whole bunch of different flavors, but it's mo it's like how they make Moki ice cream combined with a donut. So it's almost like you're eating little funnel cake donut holes. I am so excited to try this because we don't really have unique food in Utah and when in Rome, right? When in Seattle, rather. <laughs> Chewy, yummy, fluffy. That's all I need. Oh my goodness. All right, this is my last indulgence. Let's be honest, probably not, but <laughs> they look really good. We got churro, ma is it dirty, dirty matcha, matcha, 
And then the guava passion, guava something. Um, these are the most popular flavors. So we have two people here now to give their take on this. Do it like a wishbone. Okay. Oh, you win. Okay. I, I literally <laughs> can't eat all of that. Oh, look at how it pulls apart. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. I am so glad I don't live here. That is dangerous. It is kind of like eating a funnel cake, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty far from where she lives apparently, but wishbone. Dirty matcha. You keep winning. <laughs> <laughs> With my luck this trip, that's that's like how things are going. <laughs> Add chocolate, girlfriend. Holy smokes. I didn't think it could get more dangerous, but it just did. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I am really picky with food, but this blows out of, blows me out of the water. It's chewy with a little bit of crispy on the outside and it's packed with flavor, but not heavy with grease like a donut usually is. And the dusting of matcha with the chocolate so creates like this layer of flavor. Okay, last one. I Man points. One. I won! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it like just got better and better. I don't understand. I don't even think ice cream could elevate this anymore. It would just be overdoing it because it's that perfect. Five stars. Yeah, 10 mm. out of 10 for yeah. sure. Before the sun sets, I'm gonna try to get over to Gasworks Park, Kelly Park, REI Outlet, or the flagship or whatever. Those are some other places that you can go while you're here. But other than that, see you at the next place. When you come to Seattle you ha and you like weird stuff, you gotta come see the Fremont Troll. It actually has a full-sized Volkswagen under its hand. We're here at Gasworks Park. This is a great place to come for a picnic. You can bring your dogs. It has a great view of the city. It used to be a gas processing plant, and now it is a gorgeous park with geese and playgrounds and all sorts of stuff. REI Co-op. This was actually one of their flagship stores and they have a mountain bike path that you can test out the mountain bikes in here. How cool is that? Of course, a trip to Seattle is not complete unless you take advantage of some of their water activities, like taking a ferry over to Bainbridge Island to see some of the shops. You can also go on a sunset sailing tour to see a beautiful view a little differently of the Seattle skyline. Or go on a whale watching tour and see orcas in the wild. They also drop you off at Friday Harbor to see the Whale Museum and some of the Native American legends associated with these sea creatures. 
I have one more thing to share with you guys and that is a ghost tour. Yes, it's called Seattle Terrors and they take you around town and tell you all of the spooky tales of like, I think it, I'm California Gold Rush, but it kind of happened in up in the Seattle area as well. Anyway, lots of haunts, lots of spooky stuff going on, but I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with a friend because more the merrier. See you in the next one.